What's up guys? So I finally got my engine installed after waiting five weeks for motor mount bolts. I'll do a quick little walkthrough and uh, show you about some of the issues that I had installing it. So a Lamborghini Murcielago engine almost fits an NAERC replica chassis. I had about four issues dealing with it, but overall the fitment's um, really good, pleased with it, how it turned out sitting in their level square the first issue I had was the headers had to come off on both sides the engine cradle is too narrow to allow for both the headers to fit in here are the headers right here and you can even see Lamborghini they hammered that flange over and I don't know if they hammered that down on purpose to, for clearance or just in the process of hammering that over they flattened this but uh, it was tight and for, for the replica chassis they were a no-go so I, I'll have to make custom headers I'll build them out of stainless steel I didn't want to do that now but it'll it'll be fun so that was the that was the first issue the second issue um, I had was the gusset uh, underneath this rear diff I had to cut out um, which was no big deal um, the third issue and that's not a big deal didn't affect the installation process it was the, the crossover bar uh, will be obstructed by the power steering pump and then the, the final issue that I had was the the bolts for the motor mount actually line up directly on top of the bottom lower frame so getting those in is a little challenging uh, but other than that the fitment and everything is is uh is really good and uh from what i found out is that a, um, a mercy logo engine actually offsets center line to the driver's side and i'm about a half inch um, and I'm thinking it needs to go another half inch, uh, but um, I can't go any further because you can see here the side of the engine block, actually that's the oil pump housing, is about an eighth of an inch from it. So I can't go any further. And I measured my axles. So what I did, I measured from the rear diff to the hub, subtract my axle lengths, and I had about a one inch difference, meaning that the engine needs to go over about another half inch. So I'm probably about a half inch off of what a what a stock alignment would be. Um, I might have issues going forward, I don't know yet. But as far as um, front to back, the engine is one inch off the firewall and my rear diff lines up perfect with my hubs so that that's good I have this temporary rear diff mount I'll, I'll make a more of an OEM style uh, mount uh, after I get the gearbox in this that'll pitch forward up and down based on that I'll do, also do some spacers and shims for alignment um, so that's a probably probably it well actually another thing I did go with OEM motor mounts um, for several reasons one they're proven I actually had the upper motor mounts already installed on the engine block so all I had to do was make the lower receiver motor mounts and also I didn't want to go with a polyurethane because they're much harder and you get engine noise that transfers to the chassis and it, it, it changes your engine tone and I didn't want to do that and these are proven and tested and they work and and so it was just um, you know uh, easier better just had to wait the five weeks for them as far as going forward I'll be ordering radiators and oil coolers probably this week and start start working on the plumbing I'll just go do a real quick walk around.
And I guess uh, another clearance thing would be um, the engine sits flush to the bottom of the chassis, raised about maybe an eighth of an inch. And then the top of these bolts uh, right here from the air intake, I have about a half inch to three quarters of an inch clearance to the deck lid. I already put the motor, or actually the, the body on, and so I have clearance. So everything's tight, but it fits. Um, and uh, that's it. So thanks for watching.